Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to paint this juicy, realistic strawberry and watercolor. This tutorial is fun and you can really begin to see the strawberry come to life as soon as you lay down the first wash. If you want to see what I mean, stay tuned. Of course, all supplies will be listed in the description and as always you can find a free downloadable PDF and line drawing down there as well. Let's get to painting. The first thing we want to do is determine the absolute lightest color on the berry itself. We can see some pure white up at the top, but most of our highlights are a very diluted light red. I'm going to use a mix of permanent carmine with a touch of cadmium red light to warm it up just a touch. I'm going to dilute this down to a watery mixture and apply it all over the strawberry, avoiding any of the highlighted areas. This is a tedious process, but it's important for the overall form that you pay attention to your values as you work through laying down this color. I'm going to repeat the same process with a slightly more concentrated mixture, this time only focusing on the darker top half of the strawberry. I made sure to mark this line of demarcation on the line drawing. Things are looking a little disjointed at this point. I'm going to fix that by going over the entire strawberry again with a glaze of a very watery mixture of our red color. This will help us bring these two sections together. While I'm letting this dry, I'm going to lay down the first layer on the leaves of the berry. I'm using a mix of May Green with a touch of our red mixture to tone it down. I want this mix to be quite watery for right now. Go ahead and paint this all over the leaves. Next I'm going to work on the seeds. They're kind of a dark purpley brown color, so to achieve that I'm going to mix a bit of sepia with permanent carmine to achieve a whiny brown. We want this at a kind of milky consistency for this initial wash. We can always go in and add more paint. It's much harder to lift away if you take your values too dark. 
Use this mix and paint each one of the seeds paying, att paying attention to their individual highlights. Again, this is a pretty tedious process. While I have this brown mixture on my palette, I'm going to use it to add the little brown flecks we see in the leaves. Now that I have the seeds kind of mapped out, it's really obvious to me that the value of my red tone isn't quite dark enough. I'm going to mix up more permanent carmine and cad red light at a more concentrated level and apply this all over the berry, diluting it a bit as I move toward the bottom of the berry where it's a bit less saturated than the top. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Things are really starting to take shape. I'm gonna move back up into the leaves and work on defining those. I'm using the same green mixture as before and I'm gonna use it to start defining the darkest section of my leaves. It's just gonna be a light wash for now, but it'll kind of map out the areas that I need to build up so I can do that later. Okay, now I wanna go back into the seeds and make them a bit darker. I'm gonna use that same sepia carmine mixture as before, this time just a bit more concentrated, and I'm gonna paint over all of the seeds, again, paying attention to their individual highlights. Next, I wanna lay in my darkest red tones. These lay where the seeds kind of recede into the berry and create a shadow. I'm using the same red mixture, but this time it's as concentrated as it can be. All right, now it's blaringly obvious that my highlights are far too white and need to be toned down. 
There are a few highlights up near the top of the berry that are pure white, so I'm going to take care to preserve those. But the rest of the berry could use a glaze of a very watery mix of our red color. I'm going to try to work quickly here to avoid any really harsh lines, and I'm not paying too much attention to avoiding the seeds. This mixture is so diluted that it won't make much of a difference on the darker areas. Now we can really see how it just kind of softens everything and makes the berries seem much more together. I'm still feeling it's not quite there. My seeds aren't dark enough and my highlights are still feeling a bit too bright. I'm going to start by doing another wash of color all over my seeds and then a wash of diluted red over the entire berry. Just to kind of deepen things just a bit. Now I'm going to move back up into the leaves. I'm going to start by mixing up some May Green and Cobalt Green Dark separately on my palette. Then I'm going to wet down the leaves and begin to build colors wet and wet. This will allow things to blend together. I'm going to build up the color in the leaves paying close attention to my shadows and highlights. Now I'm going to work on the shadow under the strawberry. I'm going to use straight ivory black and work from a watery mixture building up to a more concentrated mixture as I define the values, getting darker right underneath the berry where it meets the surface it's sitting on. Now I'm going to go in and make any final adjustments and sign my name. I'm all done. This looks so juicy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments if you fo let me know in the comments below if you followed along. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.